Yeah, they're from Shaker Heights and they went psychedelic. I know those guys. They played for free two years. Oh. No wonder we could only get a hundred. Yeah, we pitched a bitch there. We're uh, paid up front for this weekend, though, right? These won't let me slide. Damn straight. Oog, because we know the magic words. Rock and roll! Party! Joby? Yeah, it looks like Still to come about 15 away. We're going to go up to the Apollo Theater with Whitney Houston and her mom, Sissy Houston, for the greatest love of all. That's you agreed up. not to read that around Benji. What? P-E-N-T. I'm not looking at the pictures, Patty. Honest. Yeah, but it makes an impression anyway. P-E-N-T. You cuss at him. <laughs> Be nice to me, will you, Patty? Got anxiety. Having a midweek crisis. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh no. Bongo boy. 
TV's off. You know what that means. Yeah. Means it's bedtime. Come on. Don't keep your mother hard time. Come on, let's go, little man. Let's go. Uh, are you going out? Oh, are you kidding? I'm shit face tired. Barely dragged my ass through today. Why, May? Oh, listen. Mother's birthday's coming up. We gotta get her a present. You got any suggestions? Sorry I asked. Blow kiss to Uncle Joe. How are the roads? How are the roads? Oh, terrible. Downpour. Hail as big as a baby's fist. You could have You're fine, Mom. No problem. Huh. Last time everyone was here, it was raining, you know. Wasn't it, Ben? Well, how are you, Dad? Well, I can't complain. Well, this is... This is quite an occasion. All of us in the same house at the same time. I mean, that's quite rare. Even though we live so close. I thought last year at Christmas. We were working. I can't understand why someone would want to work at Christmas. I mean, that's the most wonderful day of the year. Maybe this year. You just don't know how happy it makes us to be all together. She says that one more time, and I'm going to dance to it. Dogs can tell if you're lying. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, if it's got to be someone, his master or something. Yeah. I mean, you just can't grab a dog and take him up to anybody on the street and tell if they're lying. Otherwise, sir. Uh, the police will be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it has something to do with uh, your voice, the vibrations or something. Dwyer's dog can sing happy birthday. You just made that up. All right, Mom, let me guess. Let me guess. You heard this is the beauty parlor, right? No. Murph Griffin. No. 700 Club. Star. Well, hardly. Philbin, Regis Philbin. I saw it. A woman with a Pekingese. <laughs> Nobody takes me seriously around here. Have you noticed that? It was Donnie. Listen, don't you start on me. Wait a minute. No, he's, he's right. It was Danny. It was, oh, well, he thought that I read it. But it's still true anyway. Patty, we forgot to say grace, honey. Okay? Can't you? Our Father who art in heaven, we thank thee for bringing us together safely. We thank thee for watching over our house. We ask thee to watch over Patty, Joe, and little Benjamin. Grant them health. Help them through their trials and tribulations. We in particular ask thy help for Patty. We ask thee to show her a special measure of grace. Help her to understand her life. Guide her ways. Forgive the sins of her youth. I told her, I warned her, I was real clear. I told her if she mentioned church or rock and roll or marriage, I'd walk out of the room if I was in it, hang up the phone if I was on it. She can't bring up those subjects no more. It was just prayer. Yeah, that's her trick. Thought she could get away with it. No way, man. There's no middle ground. It's her or me. It's a birthday, Patty. Yeah, that's why I agreed to come. I knew she'd pull something like this, man. She's getting old. Hey, you give her an inch until she takes a yard like crabgrass. Joe. 
She's she's trying to destroy us, Joey. Music is all that matters. All right, look, I gotta go inside. I'll tell her something. Yeah, I'm sure you will. We'll take Benji back. Yeah. suit again. Don't talk to me like that. I think this blue suit looks a lot better than that ugly. Look, this is Future. what I'm wearing. That's okay, it. All right? This is really dumb. I never knew you had a prop with dumb. Oh, no, that's normal dumb. This is really dumb. Let's just go. You don't want to hear it? That's right. What do you mean? We don't always have to be It'll take five minutes. The basement door is always open. Go down. Steal the tools. Trade them for the PV mixing board. Do it. Alone. Somebody has to stand watch. Just honk twice. You know, I thought you wanted to come. Well, I thought you were going for burgers or something, not rip off a house. And they're going in again. I love you, Patty, but I'm gone. I gotta put in some time at home anyway. No hitch. Cover the dome. Yeah. He's got a point. This was your idea, too. Look, these tools are worth a fortune. Okay. Okay. Damn. All right, look, they're in the house. They're not going. I'm splitting. Are you coming? Now wait a little longer. Very funny. See you later. like a nightlight. You know, she'll break your heart. Please. Come on, get Sue to set you up. Oh, come on. Are you kidding? Were you born yesterday? Yeah, Patty, day two. Ah, she hates me. I'm serious. I'll set you up. I know oh, her sister. Great. I know her sister. Besides, she doesn't hate you. Nobody hates you. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. If we had the PV, we wouldn't need this. Non-subject, all that. Hey, what's with the halo number? I mean, you've done your share of creative borrowing. It's just that you gotta be more careful. Yeah, here comes Cindy. Chicken lady! Hey, hey Cindy. Cindy! Let me get my hands on your breasts. Whoa! Grabs up! All right. What is that? Oh, chicken right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hey, Sim, do you pay for this? Yeah, speaking of which, uh, what did we settle on tonight? 125 bucks against 100% of the door. In other words, 125 bucks. Well, plus free drinks and red hots. <laughs> But you can't be rational, don't belong here. You can't understand that. You don't either. Hey, Jeff. Hi, 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 Jeff.
Don't worry, you're you're so good. just let me know when you want to yeah. start. Yeah, you got First time? I heard you guys were really good. Yeah, we're good. You do? The technician. Technician, what kind of technician? The pharmacy. Oh, oh. Hello, hey. I'm watching the back door? Yeah, back door, front door, windows. <sighs> Where is she? What do we do? <clears throat> Start playing, that's what we do. Hey, remember me? I get it, you should be here by now. Well, you say. No, no, I'm right. Remember, I don't sing. It's time you learn. Just hit the whammy bar when your voice cracks, <laughs> like all the biggies do. All right, then you sing. All right, we'll do an instrumental. All right, we'll do an instrumental. Yeah, like, rude mood. Rude mood. Rude mood. Give him twelve. <laughs> this is good. There she is, just walking down the street. My sister Patty. Hey, all right, Cleveland. Yeah. Are you ready to party? Yeah. Oh, are you ready to rock and roll? So you'll be defenseless. This 
Hey, Joe, going to Peabody's Friday night? Heavy metal. Anvil. Balls to the walls, dude. Dude. Hey, Raspberry. Hey, sweetie. What's this, Vietnam flashback? I got a brother-in-law who lives in Oakhurst. You know that area? Yeah, a little. He got robbed, sir. His tools are worth about 600 bucks. That's a drag, all right. You ripped him off. Somebody recognized your car. Smitty, you got a police problem. Or the police. It wasn't me, man. It was that the you called out for your sister, was it? Ask her. I did. She denied everything. All right, so tell the cops, okay? I told my brother-in-law I'd take care of it. He doesn't want to tell the cops. He tells the cops he doesn't get his tools back. He needs those tools for his part-time work. So take it up with Patty. I'll take it up with Patty, all right? I'll take it up with her in your driveway. She'll give me her bullshit, and I'll break her arms. I'll break her goddamn face. That may give me some satisfaction, but it doesn't help my brother-in-law, and it doesn't help my sister. They need money, not satisfaction. You got that, asshole? All right, give me 24 hours. I'll ask around. Maybe I can come up with something. That number was 600. I ain't trying to negotiate. Oh, you would say so. Yeah. You, know, you know, I love malls. You used to have to drive your car and park and go drive your car and park. This is just terrific. I don't know why I hate driving, so I used to just love it. We got a problem. <laughs> Me and Patty I have to borrow some money. Oh. Honey, go on over there. See that Walgreens do? Go over there. Get yourself a candy bar, okay? See, she's in some, uh, well, legal trouble, and we need $600 to get out of it now. I'll pay her back. A little each week, but... Well, you really should speak to your father about this, Joe. Don't we ask you? Don't make fun of him. Was it? He loves your kids. Yes. Where is Patrick? Well, you know she'd never ask you for help. Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. Well, I don't know. You know, we don't have a whole lot I wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. Oh, just one, Ben. Just one. Thank you. Five cents, please. Thank you. Hey, you know, stay out of the store, sir. Well, I suppose that I could get a clerical job at Christmas. We were planning to go to Florida. We have a friend down there. She can let us stay with her, you know, and... Well, somebody else is just going to be out of Christmas for her. Uh, try and stay to the point, okay? Well, that is important. I mean, Patty gets in trouble. Okay, Patty gets in trouble, you get in bed. I mean, we, we don't go to Florida. I work the holidays. If I work the holidays, you know, somebody else is going to lose out on a part-time job. They have kids. Those kids aren't going to get even presents at Christmas because everything is connected. Patty you know. is in trouble. I mean, that is the Why point. always Patty? What is so special about Patty? I mean, we, uh, we put away money for her to go to college. She quit, right? Drop out. Oh, great. Fine. Sure, Patty. Half pregnant by some stranger. Won't even say who. She won't even tell me. I'm a mother, Jim. Please. But does she hate men, or is it just me? Don't. 
I know that you know who the father is, too, Jerry. You do know it. And I you don't won't know. tell me. I don't know. I don't want to know. Okay, I'm trying to live in the present. I... I'm... I'm, I'm really acting stupid, and I'm, and I'm first. I guess I just have to say these things now and then. Of course I'll get them. Of course I'll get them. Maybe it'll bring us all close together. Don't you think it will? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Oh, forgive me, will you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what gets into me. I'm so sorry. Damn. It's for your brother in law. Thanks. And it's too bad about this. You know, I hear about stuff all the time, you know, like painting houses and stuff. So maybe I could help you out. Thanks. I like you. You're all right. You got real family loyalty. It's too bad your sister ain't worth it. You know how it is. Last hired. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe there's something else. Dream on. Well, yeah, that settles it. Settles what? You going to sleep? It settles that we're going on the road. We got a rep, man. We can get booked into bars in Erie, Akron, Mansfield. I mean, you got no job. Boo's got no job. Let's get serious. We got material. We got a PV. I go what? The youngest Brody. <sighs> hey, John Henry, put your workbook away. Need it, my place. Don't you be late, cause it's all coming down the line. Head a red, put your lipstick on. Grab your cigarettes and tag along, cause it's all. Coming down the line. Friday night and the weekend just begun. Hit the city and have ourselves some fun. Cause it's all coming down the line. Yeah, it's all coming down the line. I didn't think you guys would show up. What do you mean? We're a road band now. <laughs> yeah, so you told me. Okay, 225 against 3. 50% of the door, two sets, 945 to 2, and drinks half price. Whoa, Wilbur, hang on right there. I don't pay more than 175 for a band without an album. Well, that's what you quoted on the phone. The Frenchmen get 250 here. Frenchmen are hot poo around here. Well, so are we. You may be hot poo back in Cleveland, but around here you just warm snot. All right, let's not get nasty. I know the 60s must have been rough. 175 half price drinks for the band. We got one roadie. Roadies pay full price. That sounds nice. Cause it's all coming down tonight. Yeah, it's all coming down tonight. The cowboys wear their face full of beer. We're gonna get your little action here, cause it's all coming down tonight. 
You can bet before the evening's out I'm gonna end up in a hole downtown Cause it's all coming down tonight Yeah! Friday night and the weekend just be good Give the city and have ourselves some fun Cause it's all Michigan. At least it's four days in the same place. It seems like home. You need softening? It's a right God softener. How does he know that? We need some hash and eggs, right? You want to grab some bleach? Bleach? Huh? Bleach. Bottle. Put in cart. Please. My name's Sean. Sean. Please. Try not to ask too much of you. I know how hard it is hanging around like a lap dog. Stop it, Joe. Just take your foot off the pedal. It's okay. Look, I haven't called home in a week. I'm going to do it now. You got anything to say? No. Don't forget the hash and eggs, okay? Some nice for dinner, Benji, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, okay. All right, bye. <laughs> well, hamburger, maybe? That'll be all right. Hot roast is too expensive. Here. Come on. What's the thing you don't got? I think we're covered. Ready, Benj? Let's get out. Call? Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you. I'll cut it. You know, you're getting gray. I am not. Well, I guess it must just be some dust of powder. You forgetting something? No. What? Mom, it's cold. You're fine. Would you want that, please? Just be quiet and talk right. Would be 3819? Okay. Here's what she wrote. Ain't much. Slow week. We girls stay 40. Minus 80 gas. 25 bar fund. 30 for that tire. 130 for the groceries. 20 for the Chinese dinner. 270 motel hell. That leaves 285. 57 each. Well, I'll go call my baby. Maybe we can talk about what she wants for Christmas. Was that a complaint? No. 
Hey, tell Cindy to say hi to my parents. Yeah, yeah, mine too. Will do. Come back soon. Winner's a bitch. In the summer, I'm going to spread out. Sleep on the grass. I think this is the greatest book ever written. Yeah, what is it? Ripley's Believe It or Not. Oh, get off it. I'm serious, man. Just think about it. Can you believe the stupidity I have to live with? So the Franks, baby. I got a surprise. A special treat. Saving up, it's a thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, you think Ben should have a secret weapon? You got talents no one ever knew about. Don't touch him. Don't you ever touch what? him. You shut up. You were such a low life bitch. What is this? You've done some low shit, but this tops it. You, loser. Get your loser ass out of here, okay? As fast as your loser legs can take it. You're messing around with my family. Do what you want with your life. But Benji ain't just yours. He's mine, and he's mom and dad's, and he's his own, too. What bullshit is this? You gotta use a five-year-old who steaks from a supermarket. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, shut your lying mouth! Steaks. You know, you got a real toot, little brother. You gotta start your own band. Call it the Attitudes. I gotta take a piss. Take Benji with you. With him, son. Come on, Benji. Excuse me, since when have you been above boosting food to eat? What are you gonna do next? Put him out in the street? I hear there's a lot of money in kitty porn. You bastard. You're even worse than the rest of them. like it here. How you doing? Okay. Look, we got a little trouble. Please. Better here than there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Joe split with Benji. I'm on the way home now. What do you do about it? Let me in. Where's Benji? Look, I'm sorry. Let me in. It's cold out here. Who's Benji? With mom. Would you get him? You go. You're in the den. Didn't tell her to say. How you doing? Hi. Mom. Well, what is it now? I mean, you usually have so much to say. Benji's already said enough. Said enough for what? You know. Maybe it would be good for you to hear it from a five-year-old's point of view. Being lugged around place to place in a van. Waking up at night in a strange hotel alone, no one to talk to. What do you think he is, a suitcase? I'm leaving. Let's go, Benji. Reverend Ansley wants you to see a counselor. I want you to speak to him. You took my problems to a minister? What the hell does he have to do with anything? It's not going to be so easy this time, Betty. You're going to have to prove yourself. 
From what I can see, you're not a fit mother. Or daughter, or sister. Anything. Well, I am Benji's mother. And since when are you an authority on fit mothers? Since, you're tired. since when are you an authority on anything? Wait, wait. I ain't Let's staying in this house. Just open your beer. Just walk in the door. Okay. Want a neck massage? And she can't stay here. Not with her. I really love Benji. You know. I know. I admit I ain't been the best mother. That thing in Michigan was really stupid. Sorry. You know, I could have had an abortion and Mom would have never found out. Sometimes I wonder, what would have happened if I had? I'm a good singer, Joey. You are. Yeah, but, but then I look at Benji and I, I get so full of feelings. I just want to hit myself for thinking that way. I was so young, you know? I wanted something that was mine, something she had no part of. I was just so sick of this house. This furniture. These maps and calendars. The fish. <laughs> Some reasons, huh? You ever figure out who the father oh, was? Oh, shit, buddy. It was somebody mom respected. That would have killed her, but I still wouldn't tell. I couldn't give her that satisfaction. I couldn't give her that control. Well, over Benji me. is your son. Why don't you just leave it at that? I just get so angry. I, I can't help myself. Everybody's always getting on you, telling you what to do, what to be. You show them any emotion, smile, give them that much. Joe. Now, I've been thinking. What? The band sucks. We gotta tighten up when we get back out on the road. We gotta attack. Smack in the face. Uh, more reverb, uh, staccato repeats. Drum crashes. Metal riffs, uh, further out. Metal? Huh? Yeah. Shit, come on, Patty. I wasn't a metal head when everybody else was a metal head. Yeah, not just metal, a new sound like techno pop metal. What? I mean, you can play it, and the lyrics are no problem. Metal, metal ain't got lyrics. That's what I mean. Party you can never do. Yes, the one thing I want to do is go out and have a good time. Cause you always on my mind. Hey, pretty baby, put your new dress on. We're gonna paint the town all night long. Go out and dance, big old stand. All you got to do is give me a chance. We're gonna have a ball, y'all. Get on the floor and do the ball. Spin a little bit of hot and head. Because we get it here at last. Just get out. Just get out. Let's get out. Thank you. Let's go grab a beer. Uh, let's go. Let's have a Good crowd. Look at his tits. <laughs> Like you said, it's crazy. I mean, for a second, I felt like I wasn't even there. I told you, I told you he was the best. Hey, where'd you find Miss West Virginia? Oh, not bad, huh? Check my brain at the door. Yeah, right next to myself. Respect. All said, she's banging me with these bazookas. No. 
Oh, Cindy's gonna get a whole lot of fun out of this. Yeah, we're gonna find it. Four? Yeah. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Get three. Come on. You know, they started rehiring again down at the plant. My, they notified me because of my time. What do you think? What about the bar busters? Well, to tell you the truth, I've been approached by a lounge act in Maple Heights. No exits. Guaranteed 400 Fridays and Saturdays. You're a top 40 band. You might as well be working at the factory. I need to Yeah, sure. I'll be doing that, too. My baby ran up some bills when we were on the road. I need the money. Top 40? Easy listening. Oh, my God. You know, this road stuff was not helping me out at home much. Well, I'm not going to futz up this marriage. It's not like the bar busters were exactly going anywhere. All right, what about the others? I hear Billy's looking for a better gig. Gene's old man's trying to get him day work. I could mention you to the no exits. <laughs> No, no thanks. Now for me, it's the bar busters or nothing. Yeah, oh, shit. Maybe I should put in my name with the plant. No, oh, I'm way ahead of you. I put it in with mine. My sister's probably going to be quiet, right? Let's go for it. Listen, man, I've been on the phone all night. There was this ad in scene. A Columbus metal group's looking for a girl to front for them. Their guitar's short. Maybe we could work booing, too. Anyway, listen, they heard of us, and we audition tomorrow, and if it works out, we could be booking gigs in three weeks. Yeah, what group is this? The Huns. H-U-N-Z-Z. -Z. Yeah, a guy saw them. They're all greasy with stringy hair and their chests open. It's like they try not to get tan. That's them. Joe, you've outdone yourself. If I was you, I'd give some thought to unpacking. And if I were you, I'd uh, mind my own business and start working on your riffs. This is my business. How are you going? Joe. What did he tell you, Chris? Did he tell you about his sensitive soul? His suicidal fantasies? Ooh, that's a good come on. But did he just say that he liked your personality? Your pep? Crystal. Coffee time. I don't have a ride. Boo! I ain't going. You ain't going. Boo ain't going. Well, well, well. They finally got to you. Welcome to the lineup, Mom, Reverend Ansley. The whole gang. Everybody telling Patty what she can do. What about Benji? Already packed. Go. Go with my blessing. I will. No, go. Blow out the fucking walls. You ain't taking Bongo. He ain't going on the road again. That was some metal band H. -U -E. He's my son, He's remember? He's staying here. What, with you? Uh-huh. And with Mom? If necessary. What's your problem? You want to be so good someday you don't have to shit? Benji comes with me. He ain't staying with her. He ain't going on the road. Well, I am, and you or nobody else can stop me. Go. A mother has rights! Any court will tell you that. Yeah, well, I don't need to go to court! Leave if you want, bitch. Stay. Mom! Margo. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry! Come on! You're gonna stay at Grandma's time, okay?
thought you said you were going to bring a friend. She couldn't make it. Hmm. She's got a lot of nerve. You know, it's kind of nice, in a way, doing dishes by hand. <laughs> it's like old times. Something wrong with the dishwasher? Don't be stupid. We don't have a dishwasher. It's right there, Graham. What, hon? The dishwasher. Oh. That old thing has just, um... It makes noise, but it doesn't even work anymore. Well, anyway, um, it's good for Bongo. Bet you didn't even know you could do dishes by hand, huh, Bongo boy? So you learned something new. You can go play now. Go ahead. Keep your hands out of that fish tank. I would think a young man like you would have all the girls after. I got girlfriends. What? You have to have girlfriends if you're going to get married. What? Really. Benji does need a mother. I mean, we don't know where his father is. We don't, we don't know where. Never. Never. Sorry. Hey. Come in here for a minute. I got something for you. What? Surprise. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Why don't you give me a present? Well, it's your lucky day. You get two. <laughs> What's this? This is a final payment on your loan. I know it took a while, but it's all there. You're my pride and joy, Joe. I just thank God he gave me two children. Happy birthday, Mom. Tomorrow and 1.30 Sunday afternoon. Fly ball right field. Brunanski retires the side. Now, string now will be 11 in a row retired by Steve Burton. San Diego, one to nothing over Houston in the second inning. Never against Thurman. Joe. Hey, Dan. You can turn it off. I don't want to. Something wrong with the dishwasher, Mom? Said it makes too much noise. The dishwasher always makes too much noise. So it's not broke? No. She gets, uh, confused. Nothing serious. You know, she really likes having you around to talk to. I never know what to say. Just say what you feel. Oh, you make it sound easy. Mom seems to be getting worse. You know what I mean? No, she gets confused. She has her good days and her bad days and nothing serious. Shouldn't you discuss it with me? I will. I just don't want to upset her. You know, we got a good life, me and her. We don't talk much, we don't go out much. But I can't complain. She gave me faith. What else is there? They were just terrific. I loved it. If you closed your eyes, you'd think she was black. Between work and classes, I never get out. Not to places like this. It's like another world. It is. It's a holiday inn. <laughs> you like it, Benji? Yeah. Hey, Uncle Boo! Hi, right, bitch. Hey. So, <clears throat> what do you think? It was good, it was good. It was real tight. Hey, Raj, how hey, you doing? Hey, Joe, good to uh, see you. Laurie, this is Raj and Boo. Hi. This is Laurie. Hello, She's Laurie. Benji's preschool instructor. Ah. Yeah. Goes to Cleveland State. I thought you guys were great. Thanks. 
When was the last time I saw you? Well, what could you do with now? I'm not. I'm just writing the lyrics. Listen, why don't you sit down? You get house drinks? <laughs> All right, I'll order the next round. I read the Huns are playing the Agora in Akron next week. How's Patty doing? Who's Patty? She's Benji's mother. My sister. Hey, Raj, were you, uh... Were you playing in some new way band? What was it called? The Clean? <laughs> yeah, they sure came and went. Yeah. Uh. Excuse me a second. Nice meeting you. You too. Nice girl. You think she's coming back? Give me a little room, will you, garbage mouth? I'm trying to improve myself. Hey, turkey lifts. How about a little service over here? Listen. You know, last week, you asked me about mom. That was last week. Hey, this is important. You should hear this. About well time, Dad. Maybe I'm not. Huh? Don't call me that. Call me Joe or Uncle Joe. I'm cool. All right, get your PJs on. Okay, Bongo boy. Let's see your stance. Whoa, get down! Bongo with a bullet. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, what are you going to sing? Oh, that's right. You got to have something to sing. All right. You listen to me, okay? I want to teach you something. Anything that you can say, you can sing. Well, that's all lyrics are. It's just people talking. I'll get watch. You can watch this, right? Yep. All right, watch this. You and me, we're going to play together, all right? Our own band. Okay? Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to turn on the TV, and the very first thing we hear, we're going to sing. You got it? Yeah. You got no place to go. Well, you heard what the man said. Let's go. Get up here. Let me see. Can you see? You, you prefer that? Good one for you? Got no place to go. You got no place to go. You got no place to go. You got no place to go. Together. You got no place to go. Kids in the red rubber suits. Oh, is that what that was? No, I saw it when in here. They used to open for us, then they got those suits. So now we open for them. Hey, Ozzy and Harry. Really? Oh, Jesus. It's going all right. What's going on with your hair? Yeah. I didn't know you were a hun. Oh, I'm just going in for a week. Yeah, we got a lot of turnover. I'm one of the three original huns. Yeah. What do you think? 
you know, that's <laughs> great. It's social security. That's, that's good thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'd have done when I was with another being. Well, I better split. You guys probably got a lot to talk about. It's good seeing you. Yeah, it's good seeing you, man. Careful with that moose. Ah, listen, I brought you something. Some lyrics I wrote to stop. Some ideas. I might want to see them. Don't have to use them. Is this why you came? Well, I knew you were here. Look, Benji started school in the fall. Now he's all excited. He's got a picture of me wearing it. Look, you? Benji don't belong to me right now. He belongs to Mother. Joe, you know it can only be one way or the other. Well, yeah, but I, I was just thinking, you know, I can arrange for you to see him. I can set that up without Mom knowing. I mean, goddammit, it just gets kind of hard to explain. You know? Okay. When? So, I'll get in touch. This, why are you doing this? What are you trying to prove? Nothing. You're the one that's trying to prove oh, something. Oh, shit. I got nothing to prove. You paid Mom back the 600 bucks for those tools, right? Who told you? Nobody. Nobody had to. I know you're dumb enough to pay her back. What, think you could be free? Instead, you accept her value. Oh, what the hell is this? Since when did Mom... Since when did Mom invent the system where you pay back your debts? I mean, this is crazy. You're all twisted sideways. I'm trying to live my life by some common sense. Yeah, that's why you don't understand me. Joey, we were real close, but you didn't have the slightest idea what I was up to. I've been trying to live my life by an idea. You see that machine? That's an idea. Rock and roll! That's an idea. All those video game monsters, bip, bip, bip. <laughs> All those bip-bips are separate. No moment is any more important than another. Nothing comes together. No heaven, no hell. Just moments. Moments connect you except mom's world. You don't believe that. Look, you see these idiots over here? Do you? They think they're gonna be stars. They sit there and they talk deals, demos, limos. Did you ever hear me talk like that? No! I go out there every night just to hear the beat. That's all there is, man. Come on, is that what I'm supposed to tell Benji when I put him to sleep at night? Why don't you just tape record this little speech? I'll play it to him. Benji will figure it out for himself. He's got two good teachers. All right, you know what I think? I don't care what you think! You don't understand anything! I'm sorry this happened. Okay, I didn't come here to fight. So Billy, I say goodbye. One more thing. Give Benji my love. Guy's got so much stuff. He buys magazines just so we can figure out more stuff to buy. Stuff that he can't use. And what? You lose weight. No. Shave my beard off. Hmm. Yeah. Joe! Joe, I was looking for you in the lunchroom. Well, they wouldn't let us in without jackets. We got a call. Your mother's in the hospital and they want you there. What happened? I finally got her to see Nettles. No, she yeah. was feeling tired. He put her in here for tests. How is she? I don't know. They keep coming in and out, taking tests, talking about more tests. What do they say? Nothing yet. They got her a room. She's waiting to see you. Mom's got a room. Ready. Don't you look good? You look good? <laughs> hey, what are you watching? Watching another world. Do you want to know something crazy? 
They have all different characters on it. I don't recognize any of these. How are you feel? Oh, I feel... Well, I feel about the way you'd feel if you'd been poked everywhere there is to be poked all day long. I told these doctors, I, I gotta get out of here. I wanna be home by dinner. I told them my son was coming over. You gonna be all right? Oh, yeah, I'm just sick of it, you know. I just, just want it to be over. Snacking, that's all it is. I'd be perfectly all right if I didn't snack so much. You know, I'm sorry. I've been looking forward to coming all day, and I got myself tired. I think, uh, I think I'll think take a little nap. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, it's okay. Hello, Joe. Reverend Ansley. Ben. Joe, uh, this is Dr. Gould. He's an oncologist. What's that? That's a cancer specialist. The biopsy on your mother was positive. We want to do an exploratory operation the day after tomorrow. If the malignancy is localized, we'll cut it out right then. What's the rush? We haven't even had time to fill out the hospital papers. Well, your mother has ovarian cancer. In a woman her age, there's no symptoms until the cancer moves somewhere else. We've got to find out how far it's spread. Yeah. Dad. Reverend Ansley. How's Benji? He's good. He's fine. He's, uh, he's over Boone Cindy's. How you feeling? Well, I'm getting a little bit tired doing all this lying around. <laughs> so much work to do at home. Sid Addison is a good Christian man, Joe. God will guide his hand during this operation. Is, uh, is Patty here? No, she, uh, I can reach her. Yeah, well, that's all right. She can't make it, I understand. I know she's got a lot to do. I wonder if we could all join in prayer. Our Father... Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
Patty, I'm so glad you could do that. I am. Uh, we going? In? She's already in pre-op. She won't be out till uh, later this afternoon. Why don't you uh, rest? to your room? Did you get any new school clothes? Yeah. Show me, okay? I should be going. Thanks. What's next? Chemotherapy. But that's if that's the guys. Oh no. But get out. That's if what? That's it's your decision. Hey, Patty. Hey. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. That's a real kick in the ass. Dad, get out What's with him? How's your dad? Sleep. Well, what are you going to do now? Hang around, I guess. The hun's already broke up. You know, Oogie offered the old bar busters the gig here two weeks from next. I know. I took it. How about it? Shit, yes. I love the uke. The puke. Who are they? Oh, that's one of Oogs. Cut rate specials. Concept rock. The problems. Yeah, they used to be called sins. Now they're just problems. Let's get drunk. I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> Sometimes we'll sigh. Sometimes we'll cry. You know hey! Hey! Let's go to West Virginia! Uh, Akron? Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh no! Marcus Eagles! <laughs> Get your way. 
You know the Bar Busters were a great band. We were good. I'm gonna tell you something I've never told anybody. I always had the hots for Patty. I always figured that sometime, somewhere on the road that we'd make it, you know? We never did. You know, all the time I thought you thought I was just a dumb jock. Oh, you were the backbone of the band. You were the most important person. Really? Really. <laughs> you know, I always had this dream. We were on stage together, surrounded by friends we could see who couldn't see us. And the only sound was music. When did this dream end? Never. It's not my dream. What is? I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, it's got music in it. A girl somewhere. You know, help. Every girl I met, I compared to you. And it ended there. How can we never talk about this before? It's not like we didn't have time to talk. Oh, try another vein. Just be a good girl. I don't want to be a good girl. Look, can't you find someone a little more experienced? Quiet, please. This is difficult. You can't feel it. There is only the touch of my hand, the sound of my voice, the touch of my lips. Nothing else exists. Oh! <laughs> Don't let them into our world. There is no pain. Nothing else. Can I talk to you alone a minute? I want to talk about Patty. What now? <clears throat> Watch out for her. Well, you've, you've known me for quite a while, right? I'm a reasonable man. I'm tolerant. I live in the real world. My father and I have talked about this. Patty is dangerous. Excuse my language, Reverend. What is this shit? Your sister believes in nothing. She doesn't care about family, church, society. She doesn't care if the garbage is clean. She helps my mother. That's all that matters Her brain is now. poisoned. She's in there right now trying to strip your mother of her faith. Every night I fight Patty's influence. Your mother's mind is weak. Patty's chosen this moment to get revenge. I'm not going to listen to this anymore. You got no, no place, place to go. go. Ain't that a shame? Say you've been kicked around. Well, I feel just the same. You got no place to go. You got no place to go. You got no place to go. So why don't you stay with me? So why don't you stay with me? Hey, how do you want me to look at you? Hey, let they throw the cook at you and look at you. You got no one to love. That's what you say. 
But I got a drawer full of photographs of friends you threw away. You got no place to go. You got no place to go. You got no place to go. So why don't you stay with me? Why don't you stay with me? Why don't you stay with me? Your mother would like to see you alone. Stay with Grandpa. Why do you keep testing her? She doesn't need any more tests. She needs painkillers. Give her something. We just did. There won't be any more tests. Could I be alone with my daughter, please? I'll be right outside. Is there anybody waiting to see me? No. Good. Good. I have plenty of time. Now. How are you? I'm fine. I don't want you to be sad. I know. This is not a sad time. I'm not sad. Is Joe dating? A little, I think. Well, I know he'll find somebody. He'll help him. I'm sure he will. I am so sorry for the way I acted when you were pregnant. Sometimes a person can be very stupid. Just can't help it. Can you forgive me? It's in the past, Mom. Your father is a very, very good man. But he's very lonely. Mom? 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 Is Joe dating? I think so. Your father is a very good man. But he's very lonely. He doesn't have a lot of friends. I want you and Joe to encourage him to remarry. He'll die if he doesn't. He needs a woman. Will you do that for me? Yes. Yes, well, he won't listen to anything about this from me, of course, but he'll listen to you and Joe. I have two women in mind. Both are old friends. One lives, one lives here and one lives in Florida. Wilhelmina Garvey and... Both of their husbands are dead. Willie is my first choice. She lives in her own home, Nakala. She's about my age. She's a very, very kind woman. But a little shy, you know? Maybe if your dad took a little vacation, he could just 
bare little social call, little visit. Yes, they would be very happy together. I'll suggest it to him. I know this is hard. But I'm telling you because you understand. You're so strong. You're stronger than Joe. Always so strong. <laughs> I nearly died giving birth to you. Caesareans were more dangerous then, but... Oh, God, in labor, I said, he better be worth it than you were. You were. Mother, I know you've always wanted to know who Benji's father was. It was John. Ansley. Reverend Ansley. I never told him. You said he was a good influence on me. Well, it was him. Reverend Ansley? Now I can forgive him. Have you forgiven him? I never believed any of the terrible things that people said about you. I always believed in you. You were always special. You were the one that I loved the most. Didn't you know that? You're a mother now, too. It's not always easy, is it? Maybe you've said or done something that as a mother you regret. Have I done anything so terrible that I can't be forgiven? No. No. Oh. Oh. There's one last favor that I want to ask you. Yes? Just one last thing. Yes. What is it? I want you to join me in heaven. I want you to say that you'll be there. Will you? Yes, will you? Yes. Good. I have to preserve my strength now. I'd like to see your father. She'd like to see you now. Addie? Addie, what's wrong? Is she all right? What happened? What happened?
She's dead. What am I going to do now? It was a real nice woman. You know, you had your problems, but she was always real nice to me. I thought you were playing at the U tonight. Yeah, we are. Got a feeling we're going to be a singer short. Where's Patty? She's just not feeling well. You haven't heard from her? Damn, thought you would. I'm so sorry. It's too late to cancel. Where could she be? Of the year. Are you on a ten? Yeah. What are you doing? All right, the funeral home is one thing. But you set up the gig at the Uke. They're waiting for you. You quit, remember? Now, I quit. I used to worship you. You, in your black leather jacket, God knows why. I gotta go. I got something to do. My name is Joe Rasnick. Me and my sister Patty used to play here all the time. With the Bar Busters! Is anybody here from Cleveland? 
Shit, we want to party!